Hello there, Sev here from Motorhome Dealer Group and welcome to this video guide on the Schult IT20 series of control panel here. This particular one, as you can see, is an IT23 and is Detlefs branded. In this video, we are just going to explain the basic functions of using this control panel. So what these buttons do, how to interpret the information it tells us, just so that you can then feel comfortable using this control panel to operate your leisure vehicle. We will not be covering any troubleshooting or problem solving. If you are having issues with your control panel, then please seek the help of a technical professional. This is just a quick start guide to get you up and running with this control panel in your leisure vehicle. So let's get to it. So here we are with the vehicle powered down, but this vehicle is plugged into mains electricity or hookup. The control panel, as you can see, is comprised of a few switches here and an analog style display. This left hand switch here is a three position rocker switch. It rests in the middle position, but it can be pushed down or up. Pushing up is going to turn on the 12 volt system, i.e. the leisure battery in this particular instance. And when we do, the switch springs back to the center position, but it has turned on the 12 volt system. And as you may have noticed, uh, as well as that LED coming on, we also have lights on behind me. This vehicle is now powered up. Pressing down is going to disconnect the circuit. That's what this little icon or this symbol is meaning. Uh, so I press that down and that kills the 12 volt power. So that's how you would essentially power on or off the leisure vehicle typically via the leisure battery depending on how your vehicle is wired and uh, set up this next three position rocker switch is going to be used to check the battery levels for either the vehicle battery which as you can see here is the battery in the front of the vehicle so that's the engine battery or starter battery and then this one here is the battery at the back of the motor at home so that's your leisure battery so vehicle battery if i press and hold and then we look at the analog display, it lights up for us. So if it was dark, we can clearly read the display. And you can see the analog needle is just above the 13. So we're just above 13 volts there on the vehicle battery. If I let go, then that analog display will turn off. Do the same for the leisure battery by pressing and holding down. And you can see we have just over 13 and a half volts. So we're reading the top part of the scale there, if you hadn't already noticed uh, the red, yellow and green numbered section there at the top. This next three position rocker switch is going to use the same analog display, but we're going to look at the blue part at the bottom. And this is for our water tanks. So we have our fresh water tank at the top. So if I press and hold, that analog needle would move to show how full the fresh water tank is. But this vehicle is drained down for the winter. So uh, we have no water on board at the moment. And then this one is for the waste. You can see the little waste outlet on the symbol just there. So press and hold and that would show us the waste tank. But of course, again, the waste tank is also empty, but the analog needle would move in accordance and highlight on the blue part of the gauge there at the bottom how full that respective tank is. We then have this LED illuminated if we are uh, plugged into mains electric and we have a working main supply coming into the vehicle. And then down here is the alarm. So if you were to have a, a low fresh water tank, full uh, waste tank or a battery voltage warning, uh, they would bring up the warning light just here. And it's as easy as that. That's how to use the Schult IT20 control panel. Hopefully you found this video guide useful. I'm Sev and thank you very much for watching.